Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Yesterday we did Chun-Li, today we're doing Vega. And uh, I have to say I'm so, like really pumped for the statue, it's so awesome. And uh, we're going to start off like we did the other day with Chun-Li with the art box. So this is the art box that it comes with. It's pretty cool, Ultra Street Fighter 4 Vega. Even though the base is actually um, nostalgic to um, Street Fighter 2 back in his stage, which was really cool. As you can see, he comes out with a switch old face. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll explain that. I'll show you how that works. So he comes with two faces. And um, him just hanging on that cage, man, is pretty cool. And again... You could read that and pause it if you like. It's pretty much, I think, similar to the last one. Let's so, uh, turn it, turn it around. This is the uh, Chun Li. It says, you know, here comes a new challenger. Right now, I did go to their website, <clears throat> and they only have these two right now. So hopefully, they will. Um, have more characters man bring them on bring on the other characters and this is pretty much um vega's select screen from the ultra um street fighter 4 series from the 4 series so anyway let's go back to the statue we'll deal with the base first as you notice i've got you know his mask here the change head here okay it's really cool we'll get back to that at the end of the video for you um i love the paved rock uh the you know the paved um, uh, bricks. It's really cool, and this is really cool right here too. They got the stair uh, you know the stairwell, the staircase, whatever. It's look at those rocks, man. I think this is PVC. Uh, what a friend of mine told me was PVC. So and they are I believe one tenth scale. But still, man, I mean, this is really cool stuff. I am going to be doing, um, you know, a Naruto uh, statues coming up. I have some Naruto stuff that I'd like to show you. I do read, th that's one of the mangas that I do follow and animes that I do watch. And just look at Vega, man. <laughs> He's just about to pounce off, you know, the, um, the cage, the fence. It's really cool. And the way he hooks onto the cage, as you can see how his fingers are sp uh, spread like that, that's how he hooks on, and I'll show you that in a minute after, uh, you know, I do the 360 and show you. This is so neat, man. I'm just so ec ecstatic with this. He's so cool. And this is design just alone, man. I have to give props to this company. You know, this this, this this design right here. And like I said, I like going back to theme statues that, you know, bring out the character. Like, I wish in Street Fighter 4 they had these stages, you know, kind of like a bonus, you know, nostalgia. You know, just throw the character bases in there, you know, that reflect uh, the, um, the the character. It's so awesome. Now, in some in some cases, he's also known as... Uh, claw and the, you know because of his claw and that's because Capcom actually changed uh, or shuffled the, the names around because back back you know in the early 90s 80s late 80s early 90s I believe it was Mike Tyson influenced Balrog the boxer so they were afraid of you know Tyson actually you know suing and everything so they shifted the names around and everything because, you know, Balrog is heavily influenced by Tyson. So they were worried and they were just changing names around. So people refer to him as Claw. He's one of the original four bosses that you do fight in Street Fighter 2. He's the first one. Balrog is the second. Then you got Sagat and you've got um, Bison. Bison's the, the, the last one. And he's known as Dictator, then Boxer, Claw, and Sagat's just Sagat. So. Or Bob Saget, <laughs> if you want, I guess. So yeah, um, overall, very good. It was like about, 
115 euros. So it was like 100 and, I don't know, 130 bucks or something like that. 140 bucks or something like that. I forget. It was something like that for the statue. But it's well worth it. I'm very happy I got it. I'm very, very um, excited as a Street Fighter fan. I love the series, as I mentioned before. Big fan of the series. Love the characters. And uh, I'm just excited to have this. And uh, you can position him anywhere in the fence you want. You can move him along. And, uh, you know, so I think I could possibly show you right now. So what you do is, if you could see, well, let me turn him. See how his hands are? So you can, you can put him anywhere in between the cage, like, like here, if you want. See, see now he's lower. And you can position him anywhere you want on the cage, which is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> I'm just excited about this. Um, it's been a little while since I've been excited and impressed. It's very impressive. And uh, yeah, that's just an example just to show you. You can move him around on the cage and everything. Uh, let me, let me um, you know, switch out the head for you so you can see what he looks like with the mask, okay? Hey Be right guys, back. all right. So this is the part where I um, brought Chun Li. In so I can show you both of them together You can actually you know have Vega over there and uh, Chun-Li on the other side and have them like they're going up against each other These are the only two like I said on the site right now I definitely recommend you guys getting them if you want them if you're a real um, Street Fighter fan I recommend them to you. They're really awesome um, What else? Oh, yeah, the the mask. Here's the mask. I switch out the mask for you so you guys can look I really like it. It looks so badass I also like this right here. Look at that. See that? He got he got hit by the claw. So he's been he's been doing some cage fighting, man. This is just the design. I can't help myself but just fanboy over it. It's just awesome, man. It's just like it harkens back to you know Street Fighter 2. Even though it's like Ultra Street Fighter, you know, on the box and everything, but they went to Street Fighter 2. It's just so cool. Again, I wish those stages were in the game. So maybe they'll do it with Street Fighter V. We'll see. Like the paint ups on the gauntlet, on the claw, just awesome. You can tell on this over here. They did an amazing job on this guys. Sash. The tattoo of the snake. He's got the snake head on his mask over there. Hopefully that focused for you so you could see. Just awesome. And the way it works, okay. Um, you see his his head right here, and what you do. The, the, you pop off, you pop the uh, the head off, off the statue which is here, okay. Then once you get the other head, you take the head and you take off the uh, the hair. Then you then you just put the hair right here, and uh, take this and then pop it into the socket, right, you know, onto the body, and boom, you got to change your head. So I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. I like the hair and I just, it's awesome. So. So that's it. They, there they are. I'm very happy to have these two. Again, I hope they keep making them. I'm, I'm stoked. So this Street Fighter car uh, fan, the characters that they made so far, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited, man. Um, so yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for um, giving the video a look. I'll catch you uh, hopefully very soon. I've got some other stuff that I have to put out for you guys, hopefully in a few days. And um, yeah, thanks a lot for... Um, you know, for uh, tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.